Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Starway to Heaven pay-per-view. And we are actually in the Starway to the biggest pay-per-view of the year called Jungle Fury. The Starway starts tonight. The road starts tonight. The road to Jungle Fury. The most long-awaited pay-per-view of the year. And Starway to Heaven is one of the three Grand Slams here in PwC. Shockwave is in the middle of the road. And then we have Jungle Fury right at the final. We're here live from Milan in San Siro Stadium. San Siro Stadium also known as Giuseppe Miazza. But the stadium now is changing names to Cathedral. And this is actually a fact I've searched about it in the internet. So I guess now I must call it Cathedral. And tonight we have here a huge match card for you because the PwC World title will be at stake. Finally Brian Cage is getting his opportunity when for a moment we thought it was out of the card because he suffered an attack from Billy Ray last week but fortunately he was there last week to a match and he is here tonight to his world title match so now we're gonna crowd the very first European champion of all time and we're gonna have our both men and women Royal Rumble matches to see who is going to be on the main events of Jungle Fury so stay tuned, and right now we're gonna have actually the in-ring return of Bill Goldberg to PwC, just like it was announced last week. Bill Goldberg is now entering in the building, and we don't know who he's gonna face tonight. And I guess we're gonna find out right now at this very moment. So let's go back to the ringside. Goldberg out here is mowed down. That's gotta keep Shango down. Devastation from Goldberg. Goldberg sees the finish line. This will do it. Up and down with the jackhammer. That's it. Goldberg's ending things. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Goldberg. This was his I've ever seen guys never a doubt barely a moment's suspense this one was about as lopsided as they come ladies and gentlemen welcome to starway to heaven the pay-per-view that opens up the most exciting time of the year for PWC, the Labyrinth to the Jungle, which will culminate on our flagship pay-per-view Jungle Fury duo before the throne on September 8th. Yeah! Are you guys ready for an exciting pay-per-view tonight? Yeah! First of all, I want to thank Kyoko Kimura, Julia and Suri for being with us tonight as the very first edition of the Anna Kimura and Chad Gaspar Starway to Heaven Royal Rumble matches will take place for the first time ever today. Also to have Julia and Suri here today is very special and it is my pleasure to announce that as of this moment Julia and Suri are officially part of PwC they are now PwC wrestlers. Yeah! These two signings will surely rise the bar here on the PwC camp. But that's not it. Some of the biggest matches in wrestling history were held under extreme stipulations. That's why today, one of the most iconic matches on our company will look to repeat history. The finals of the PwC European Champion Tournament between Logan Hernandez and Austin Sane will now be a tables, yeah, ladders, yeah, and chairs match, yeah. The loser will also have a special reward awaiting him since the Shad Gaspar Starway to Heaven Rumble match is a match that looks to test the physical 
and mental limits of every wrestler on the roster, the loser will have to change the test. It will have to be at the first entrant later tonight on Shad Gaspard Royal Rumble match. Yeah! And the finals are next. starting to stagger a bit. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. This is one of those pivotal points in a match where some superstars fall to the pressure, but I wouldn't expect that from him. His perseverance will likely push him through here. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, he turns it around. No, he reverses it. This is what makes him so dangerous. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael.
nice when a plan starts coming together. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. He's definitely not looking very good for him right now. Given what we've seen so far, I wouldn't at all be surprised if we see a title change here tonight. He's in full control now. That's going to leave a mark, folks. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big time damage, Michael. Look out. There's a target on that back. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Reverses that one. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Nothing yet has shown me that one of these superstars refuses to lose this ladder match. Sometimes you can get that feeling early on, but this one seems fairly evenly matched. Look at this. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. These superstars still look fairly fresh to me, which means we may... You can put this one in the bank. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Starway to Heaven pay-per-view. We're here live from Milan San Siro Stadium. And now we're going to show you our theme song for this pay-per-view. It is called the self-title itself, Starway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. And this is our first Grand Slam. As you know, Shockwave is in the middle of the road to Jungle Fury. And then we have Jungle Fury, which is the biggest pay-per-view of the year. And I really think it is going to be the biggest pay-per-view of the entire wrestling history. Because that car is going to have a lot of dream matches. It is going to be for sure the one of the best pay-per-views in the wrestling history. I can assure you that. Let's check it out. Jungle Fury, Duel Before the Throne, the biggest pay-per-view of the year is coming to PwC and it brings with him action for five nights in four different places, two hours each night, ten hours in total. It starts with the first night in Rome's Colosseum. And he finished as well in Rome's Coliseum the last night. But all of those left days will be in incredible places around the world. Arenas, stadiums. The biggest pay-per-view in the entire wrestling history is coming in September 8th, 2022. Jungle Fury. Duel Before the Throne. 
Life on pay-per-view. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and now, before the Anakimuri's Memorial Royal Rumble match starts tonight, we're just gonna say that we want to announce that Yulia and Suri have signed officially with PwC. And not only that, but they are actually here. They are in the crowd watching the show tonight. And they are going to watch as well our women's Royal Rumble match right now. So now let's go back to the ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is the Haneke Moria Memorial's Royal Rumble match. The match is going to start with two participants. And the only way to win is by throwing your opponent over the top rope. And she gets eliminated when both feet touch the floor. In which the winner is going to main event at Jungle Fury September the 8th. Are you ready for the Rumble? And here it comes the first entry. I cannot believe that that's, that's Kyoko Kimura. Kyoko Kimura, this is a very special appearance here tonight and very symbolic one because she's the mother of the honored person in the Rumble, Hana Kimura. And she just came out of retirement for her first match in five years. I cannot believe this. And she's moving to tears as long as she enters in the Rumble tonight. And the crowd cannot stop chanting. Anna Kimura here. Anna Kimura. Anna Kimura. Anna Kimura. Wow, such an incredible surprise here. Kyoko Kimura is the first entry in the Rumble. Well, let's see who's going to come out here at the first, at the second place. Wow, that's Billy K. Billy Kay is coming out as the second entry. And what a way to kick off this Royal Rumble match tonight. With Kyoko Kimura, a surprise entry. And Billy Kay, another great women wrestler. As long as they start crossing arms to see who got the advantage first. And it feels like Kyoko Kimura is starting to dominate this Rumble match tonight over Billy Kay. But at some point, Billy Kay just fights back. And for now, it feels like we have 10 seconds left until the next entry. Dude. Here comes Alison Hater. Alison Hater is the entry number three. And as soon as she gets in the ring, she's giving close lines after close lines to Billy Kay and Kyoko Kimura. Oh, what a face buster on Billy Kay. Five, four, three, two, one, two. Entry number four, that's Kim Parker, part of our roster here. Here she comes, and as soon as she comes, look, look at that, look at that. Kim Parker eliminates Allison Hater just like that. Wow, what a turn of events here. And now look at that. Kim Parker with the power bomb on Kyoko Kimura. And she's trying to eliminate Kyoko Kimura, but Kyoko Kimura gets back on the rumble. Five, four, three. Two, one, zero. Here it comes, number five. Entry number five, that's Bailey. Bailey coming down the aisle. And now she gets into the ring with the Superman punch on Kyoko Kimura. I never saw Bailey doing this. Now let's see who's gonna get in the entry number six. Three, two, one. Two. That's a lot. What? What? The legend, Alundra Blaze. Alundra Blaze, aka Medusa, is here. I cannot believe this, that she's a legend. Now she gets into the ring and she's face to face with Kyoko Kimura. This is a very good confrontation here. What? And they go for the same move, they just clash in the middle of the ring. It felt like they both got to a shoulder block. The same idea, and because of that, they clashed in the middle of the ring. Entry number seven. That's Zira. Here it comes, Zira. Five, four, three, two, one. Entry number eight. Carmella. Carmella is coming down the aisle directly from WWE. And Carmella eliminates. She eliminates a Lunder Blaze. 
A Luna Blaze was distracted with Zeta in the ring. And for almost a second, Zeta almost suffered an elimination too. But not yet. A Luna Blaze is out. Medusa is out. Thanks to Carmella. 3, 2, 1. Entry number 9. That's Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke comes down the aisle. What, 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 what the hell? Dana Brooke just eliminates Billy Kay. What in Bailey right after? Double elimination by Dana Brooke. Billy Kay and Bailey are out of this rumble. Now let's go check out the entry number 10. That's Katya Martins from OWE. From Oric Wrestling Association. Katya Martins in here tonight. And as soon as she gets in the ring, she's putting Zira out of the rumble match. She eliminates Zira. Two, one, zero. Number 11, Filippa Martins from OWA2. And she comes out and she eliminates Carmella. She eliminates Carmella. Three, two, one, entry number 12. Lana Croft from our rafter. Lana Croft. Lana Croft with the spine buster right on Filippa. And here comes the entry number 13. Wow, that's Natalia. Natalia, she's associated, of course, with our general manager Tyson Kidd. Here she comes, Natalia. Is fired up. She's fired up. She, what? She eliminates both OWA competitors. Both OWA competitors, Katya Martins and Filippo Martins, are out. Thanks to Natalia. And now look at Lara Croft. Look at Lara Croft. She puts Skin Parker out of the Rumble. Now here comes the number fourteen. Then here it comes Lana. Lena trying to eliminate Natalia, but with no effect. 3, 2, 1, number 15. And here she comes, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks, who got to her in the spot by winning a match two weeks ago. Here she comes. She's fighting against Lana in the middle of the ring. Number 16, Maddie Hater. Maddie Hater. And as soon as Maddie Hater is coming down the aisle, Sasha Banks just happened to eliminate Dana Brooke. 3, 2, 1, number 17. That's from our roster. Trebaruna is coming out the aisle. And Trebaruna, what? Trebaruna with the double elimination. She eliminates Lara Croft and Lana. The Russian Lana is out as well as Lara Croft. Number 18. Oh no, this is going to be such a good confrontation. Rosemary is coming down the aisle. Now she's face to face with Trebaruna. Look at this. Look at this fight. Rosemary. Rosemary. Rosemary attempts to eliminate Trabaruna. Trabaruna is out. Number 19. Oh no, another great confrontation. Lilith is coming out. She's face to face with Rosemary here. Lilith, look, what, what? She eliminates Rosemary just like that. What the? What a sequel of eliminations here. And here comes an entry number 20. That's AJ Lee. AJ Lee comes out with the dropkick on Mini Hitter. She eliminates Mini Hitter with the dropkick. Number 21, our Jessamine, directly from martial arts, martial arts, Jessamine Duke, Jessamine Duke, what, 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 what the hell, what the, she, what the, she eliminated Kyoko Kimura, Jessamine eliminated Kyoko Kimura, Kyoko Kimura was the entry number one, and she was here until the entry number 21, I really thought she was gonna win this, but Jessamine just happened to eliminate her. Number 22, here it comes down the aisle, Mariana Kuba. Mariana Kuba tries to eliminate Jessamine with, with no effect here, no effect at all. Number 23, Ronda Rousey. Ronda, Ro Ronda Rousey eliminates Sasha Banks. What an history. Last week we saw Sasha Banks confirming Ronda Rousey. At PWC, she's saying that she was the only one who earned a spot here. Now Ronda Rousey makes justice eliminating Sasha Banks. Here comes the number 24, Marina Shafia, Marina Shafia. Probably the most important girl when it comes to opportunities here because she was banned from a PWC Ladies Championship opportunity since last year's Jungle Fury. And here she comes, here she comes. And now it feels like history is going to repeat itself because we are seeing Ronda Rousey eliminates Jessamine. History repeats itself. We know that these two collided in the past. 
Now it comes to number 25. What? The Thinkner. The Thinkner. Finn Mason. And Finn Mason. Finn Mason eliminates Lilith from the Rumble. Here comes the number 26. Entry number 26. Mickey James. Mickey James. Mickey James. Here it comes with that DDT finisher right on AJ Lee. And she eliminates AJ Lee from the Rumble. Now we have Shafir. Look at Shafir fighting back against Ronda. And now again, history repeating itself. Do you remember what happened at Jungle Fury last week? Shafir lost her opportunity for the title because Ronda interfered on the match. That's why Shafir was left out from world title opportunities when it comes to the latest division. Thanks to Ronda. And now Shafir. Look at Shafir. Attacking. Ronda Rousey. What? 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 Shafir eliminates Ronda Rousey. Redemption is made here tonight. One year redemption in the making. Number 27, Becky Lynch, here she comes. And as long as she comes, Natalia eliminates Finn Mason. Number 28, Miranda Gonzalez coming down the aisle. Nothing new happened here. Number 29, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, Miranda Gonzalez. What? What? Alexa Bliss only lasts three seconds in the Rumble. This is the biggest upset of her career. Miranda Gonzalez just happened to eliminate Alexa Bliss. In three seconds. Three seconds that was with Alexa Bliss last in the Rumble. What a biggest upset on her career. And here it comes the last entry. Let's see who she is. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Red. What? Our commissioner Trish Stratus is on the Rumble. How can that happen? Well, I mean, she rules the ladies' division, so she can do whatever she want to do with the ladies' division. And she just happened to insert herself in the Rumble as the last position. Now, Trish Stratus, oh no, she comes face to face with her family member, Natalia. Trish Stratus with the sidekick on Natalia and eliminates Natalia. And now, Mickey James in the other side of the ring eliminates Miranda here. Lynch, Lynch, look at Lynch behind, behind Trish Stratus, Lynch, Lynch eliminates Trish Stratus. Now Shafir, 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 look at Shafir, Shafir eliminates Becky Lynch. Consecutive eliminations here, we are heading towards the end of this match. Kuba, look at Kuba, 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 Kuba eliminates Mickey James here. What, what, what? Kuba eliminates Mickey James because Melina just came out of nowhere and just pushed Mickey James out of the Rumble match. And now Malin is attacking Mickey James outside of the ring. What the hell is she doing here? She's not even an entry. She doesn't have the right to be here. Come on. And now Shafir. Shafir. Shafir, we're down to Shafir and Mariana Kuba. What a history repeating here itself. Shafir has the most interesting by winning this match. And last year, Mariana Kuba was the very first ladies champion of all time. How coincidence is this? Shafir and Kuba at the last. The two last women standing here. Let's see this. Look, look, look. No, no, no. Shafir eliminates Mariana Kuba. Shafir is the wrong. He's the Royal Rumble match winner. Shafir is going to juggle Fury. And finally, history is going to make some justice for Shafir after all of this time. She's earning a ladies championship match at Jungle Fury. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in PwC just moments away from our PwC World Title match coming up next between Brian Cage and our champion Billy Ray Diggler. But look at what's going on in the back. What what what's going on there? What's going on? That's this EC3 is looking for someone on the backstage, and he cannot stop moving around. What the hell is going on with that man? He's coming. He's coming towards the ring now. He's furious. Lucia, I just happened to discover that you tried, you tried to manipulate Tyson Kidd on putting me out of this company. Seriously, is, is that your way of dealing with me? I may tell you, Lucy, you're not in a position to play mind games with me.
Everybody on the backstage hates you. And even though Tyson Kidd gave you a second opportunity on that low-class popcorn job, he knows you very well. And just like I said, you can say whatever you want to say. You can try to manipulate whatever you want to manipulate because that whoever will not recall your threats. Everybody knows who you are around here. And sooner rather than later, they are going to know in the next couple of weeks what I just discovered about you. Now, and I'm not talking about the fact you being an arlet because that everybody already knows. I'm talking about something even more chaotic for you because that's something is going to put you out of this company for good. If not out of this company, well, at least Tyson Key will suspend you for a lot amount of days. I cannot wait. Change that dial. And these superstars look more than ready to get going here. But can he knock off the champ here tonight? There's a lot of people who say he can't, but I actually kind of like his chances. And you get the feeling that this crowd wants to be a part of history here in this championship match. You don't see him tossed around like that very often. He delivers a hard clothesline. Tell me, what do you think about Daigle? What do you feel the champ needs to watch out for in there? You can take the rest of those championship matches. Just give me the big boys in the heavyweight division. Real men inflicting real damage. 
I love it. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. So much on the line here in the match for him. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. I guarantee you that the post-game show on the WWE Network will be talking about how he struggled getting out of the game here tonight. Wow, the ref got hit hard there. He may not get back up, Cole. Oh, he 
turns it around. He's delivering an old fashioned butt kicking right here. I don't remember the last time the champion was up against as stiff a challenge as this one. There may be no stopping him. Saved by the ropes. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. He's got the rope and the pin is broken. And he's out of there in a nick of time. To the outside he goes. Trying to create some separation here, Cole. Maybe. You can almost see the wind leave his Maybe. body after that. Ain't no stopping him now. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, and he reverses it. Now what? Here it comes. The latest accusation when it comes to teams in our roster. The newest formation of Mascara Negra and Moises. The newest team around this PWC's roster. I mean, they were here before, but they were never a team till this very day. Let's see what they gotta say. I mean, they have a match later tonight. They are included in the Rumbles match. Before we even step foot in the Royal Rumble match later tonight. I'm gonna make sure this idea that I'm gonna pronounce coming up next is gonna get through Tyson Kidd's head because me and Mascara Negra we don't feel at all in a justice position here. Seriously, Tyson Kidd, we have been working for you for more than a year, and all that you have saved for us. Is a spot on the Royal Rumble match, seriously? Is that what you have in store for us for such a tremendous pay-per-view like Star Way to Heaven? I'm not saying that the Royal Rumble match is actually a bad idea, but there is better things in this company than just being two guys fulfilling two empty spots on the Rumble. What about you, Tyson Kid? Start giving us a PWC tag team title shot against the Hardys. And here it comes Tyson Kidd coming down the aisle from the entrance. Look, are you both crazy or what? How can you not value such a tremendous Royal Rumble match like ours? It is not just a Rumble match. It is an honor to be on that match because it is dedicated to Shad Gaspard. And not only that, but you really get an opportunity to fight for the most prestigious championship in this business, which is the world title at Jungle Fury. Which in my way, in my point of view, it is, it is even more important than the tag team belts. And you start saying here that the Rumble match is not important enough for you? Seriously? Look, Tyson, I don't know if you have realized, but we are not singles wrestlers anymore. Now we work as a tag team, which means that our main focus is on the tag team belt, not on the world title. If you wanted us to have a world title championship opportunity, well, I would say now it is not the right time to do it. The right time was when we first signed with you last year. But you decided to put us on the back of the PWC's roster, on the back of the cards. 
So now all we want, despite being in the Rumble match, all we really truly want is a tag team title shot against the Hardys. Look, you are a newest tag team in the, our tag team division. Both of you have a lot to prove when it comes to tag team matches. So I'm not just gonna handle to you any tag team title shot just like that. If you want one, I'll let you have one, but you have to earn it. So in the next couple of weeks, in our weekly shows, maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna let you to have a number one contendership match. And I really know I have something in the back of my mind that is yet to make the debut here tonight. Later tonight, probably, I don't know. Maybe I'm just speaking too much at this very moment. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. But in the next couple of weeks, you're going to face a tag team. One of the latest PWC's accusations. And if you beat them, then you'll face the Hardys at our next pay-per-view in August, Shockwave. Are you happy now? All right. All right, we have a deal. Let's make, sure, let's make sure here of one thing, Tyson. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. Because we are not forgetting of what you did to us. As singles wrestlers, you decided to put us on the back of the card. Right at the bottom of our PWC's roster. So keep in mind, we're not forgetting about it. And sooner or later, rather sooner than later, you're going to find out what we are capable of. Well, this is a warning from Moises and Maskana Negro to our general manager, Tyson Kidd, here.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, finally the match between Raven and Vampiro got over, but this is a very bad situation for Vampiro because, correct me if I'm wrong, but let me remind you about this. At Ignition, Vampiro won the match. It was a buried alive match, but it happened to be that Raven just simply ran away from the stipulation and he never got buried alive. Then Vampiro asked for a rematch. The Tyson Kid, well, this time around it was a no DQ, buried alive lumberjack match. So it was a buried alive match with two stipulations added in order to get some redemption. But now Raven got the victory, so Vampiro never got his redemption. And now Vampiro is trying to run away from Raven. He's trying to do what Raven did at Ignition run away from the stipulation, but the lumberjacks are not letting him escape. And now finally Raven puts Vampiro into the coffin and he's burying him alive with a backhoe. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just moments away from our man's Royal Rumble match. It is coming up next. But it feels like something else is going on on backstage. Let's put the cameras back there. That's Moises and Mascara Negra attacking one of our contestants. In our talent development center, that's San Antonio being attacked by Moises and Mascara Negra. San Antonio was supposed to be in the men's Royal Rumble match coming up next, but it feels like after this attack, it will not be able to be there. Oh man, those guys just screwed this kid's dream now. And remember what they said to Tyson Kidd earlier tonight. They said there will be consequences. For what Tyson Kidd did to them by treating them like low card wrestlers. And now there you have it. The first attack from those two. San Antonio is out of the rumble. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last man in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will advance to the main event of WrestleMania. Tell us, oh, wise one, what's he got to do to win here tonight? 
We can speculate all night, but this is really going to come down to who wants it more. What he's got to do is reserve his stamina and carefully pick his spots so he can be in there to make the final elimination. And he's going to end this one. And that's an elimination right there, guys, with an exclamation this point, no less. Entry number four. Who's it going to be? Neutralizes him with an elbow. Look out. This changes things big time. A fresh superstar usually does, Cole. Sweat starting to form on Kennedy's brow. Well, we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. He has a huge elbow drop. Here we go with number five. Look at the look on his face. Oh, yeah, he looks super focused. Could be trouble here, guys. Huge elimination right there. A competitor has been eliminated. That strike definitely found its target. And he slams him down. Doubled over now. He's struggling a bit here. This very well may be too much for him to handle. And this will be number six. Look who we have here, guys. And he looks super motivated. Surprises him with that drop kick. Hits him right between the eyes with a knee. He delivers a crushing neck breaker. Driven to... Who's it going to be? Look at this. Raise up the mind. Someone's going to feel the wrath of the bad guy.
for it again. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And there's the breaker. Oh, what a great escape. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. Look at this. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Text, and that's elimination right there, guys, with an exclamation point, no less. He combines speed, agility, balance, and force all in one move. Got the reversal. Oh, the counter. When this guy's on, look out. Uses the headbutt. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. And now he goes for it a second time. He is a one-man gang in there. He's simply reminding him that he's here. And Morales just not looking good here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Yeah, but, but the guy's in the ring right here. It's just a matter of time now. This is his opportunity to win this thing. No, he reverses it. This will be 20. It is a giant four. Look out. Here he comes, guys. Big spot in the match here. We may be there. the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. Ain't no stopping it now. What took him so long? He's delivering an old-fashioned kick it right here. No reverses it. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. Beautiful German suplex. Good guy. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. He might have it. There's no recovery from that. Can he finish him off here? He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. A big elimination right there. A competitor has been eliminated. Show it to the crowd. Listen to this crowd. Just look at this man. He left in this. Uh oh, this will shake things up. You're not kidding, Michael. That could have been disastrous. And that's elimination right there, guys. With an exclamation a point, no less. A kick right eliminated. to the gut. Big miss for him there. And a likely pay for the time slams. Eliminated. This could be the turning point. Using every ounce of his body on that splash. You can almost see the wind leave his body after that. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. And that one drops him. So the cover to the blue. Uh-oh. Here he comes, fellas. He looks determined as ever. Here we go, guys. Elimination coming up. Oh, that one. Curious what the thought process is here, Corey. Whatever it is, it's flawed. You never let up on an apartment like that, Cole. Here we go with entry 23. Knocked the breath out with a crushing kick to the gut. Look out. South Bell Sanders had it in. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on. Toughen up. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Not today. That's how you take an opponent's propulsion and body weight and turn it into a weapon. For some competitors, part of their strategy is to demean their opponent. A move like that says it all. He is a one-man game in there. Get ready. Look at Psycho Sid go. This adds a whole new dimension to this match, guys. You're absolutely right, Cole. Now White might be starting to feel the pressure. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. Hey, if he can't handle a little punishment here and there, maybe he has no business being in the Royal Rumble match. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. What's not even close? Who's he going to be? There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. That money can definitely make a difference here, guys. Without a doubt. He misses there. He just, there's the elimination, Corey. What took him so long? Got to just trouble there. You got that one, Michael. That had elimination written all over it. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here.
This is what makes him one of the greatest in our nation, Byron. That was amazing. Gabriel! That landed perfectly. Just making his presence felt there. Plenty of force behind that strike. The time is not something to sleep on. One move after the other. It's devastating. Looks like we might get an elimination, guys. Oh, boy, he is one. And now Tatanka might be starting to feel the pressure. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. If you're a betting man, this is the one to put your money on. Oh, you can tell he's got even more tensions on his mind. And that's like this, you have to feel like this. Yeah, he's going to make his video, so he's going to make his video, so he's going to make his video. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Not even close. Jeez, that was embarrassing. Right losing steam here. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. Hey, he can still win this thing, guys. We've all seen him come back from much worse. We got entry 28 on the way. He clearly did a ton of killing into time. This shakes things up a bit. That's it. When he strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. This is a level that just dares the elimination. Like I said, Donald, you might be too sad, but it's true here. Hey, over till it's over. We may have discovered his favorite move. Who's 29 going to be? Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking at something in the here. This guy has what it takes to make major impact here. Yeah, you have to expect to make some noise here tonight. Delivered a beautiful uppercut, man. That had some force behind it. He's inflicting some serious pain here. He's betting back here. I expect he's nothing less for him. I think I know who this is. The closed fist cast. Things are about to heat up here, guys. I wouldn't want to be in the ring now, that's for sure. He's showing some aggressive in that elbow. I guess he pushed us in the fucking... Trevor said using a speed like that. Missed by a little bit. He's better than that. And he delivers a spirited elbow. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about a great escape. And that's elimination right there, guys. With an exclamation point, no less. He misses the mark. He might need glasses, Cole. His eyesight is clearly compromised. Saw that one coming. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Oh, what a great escape. And there's the elimination. A competitor has been He's eliminated. making a statement here with this attack. <laughs> a terrific reversal by Psycho Slip. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Too quick for him there. Things not looking good for Sanders. He looks to be a little surprised right now. It looks to me like he took his foot off the gas there for a moment. When that happens, you run the risk of letting your opponent back into the match. Psycho still doing a great job of turning that around. He misses there. You just can't miss by that much, Cole. Look out. And Byron, you never want to find yourself in a spot like this. Especially in a Royal Rumble match, Michael. Psycho Sid looks like he's really struggling right now under the pressure. It's about as bad as it gets for him. He looks right for the picking, guys. You can kiss his chances of main eventing WrestleMania goodbye. From my standpoint, it seems like you underestimated who he was. There's the elimination for it. What took him so long? Michael T. has been hit to that one shot right there. Counters that one. When this guy's on, look out. Like 
Wright looking a little off his game here. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win here. Give him credit, guys. He's not giving up. And with so much on the line, that's exactly the attitude you have to have in a match like this. But if you're counting him out now, you haven't been paying attention. He has more result than just about anybody on the roster. And he gets him with a counter. We might be looking at a broken nose here. That move at this juncture of match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. This is exactly how he drew this one up. Could be trouble here, guys. And gets out of harm's way. Oh, boy, that could have been bad, Michael. Unleashing it for the second time now. That one was off the mark. Awful. Just plain awful. Oh, and he reverses it. He's too quick for him there. He gets it with a reversal. That could have been disastrous, Byron. No doubt. In fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination there. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Might maybe fading away. There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. A competitor has been eliminated. Remember, both feet, both feet have to touch the floor once you go over the top rope in order to be eliminated. This guy's a machine. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the backstage right now with the winner of Men's Royal Rumble match, Erebus. Congratulations on your history making win tonight. You now get a free ticket to the PWC World Title match at Jungle Fury, Duel Before the Throne, and you surely put the champ unnoticed. How do you feel? I didn't only put the champ unnoticed. But every single wrestler back there unnoticed. But Billy Ray Diggler experienced a warning is only going to hear once. It doesn't matter if he survived Brian Cage earlier tonight. Because he's not going to survive me at Jungle Fury. Yeah. Well, and now we're here with the Women's Royal Rumble match winner. Marina Shafia, congratulations on your epic win. Not only did you win the first ever Anakimura Star Way to Heaven ladder match, uh, sorry, Rumble match, but you were personally congratulated by her mother. Seemingly gaining a blessing from the Kimura family. How do you feel about all of this? I feel speechless, I feel overwhelmed, I don't really know what to say. I have a lot of people to thank the fans, yeah, because whatever they stood by my side or they didn't, they knew that by this time of the year, they knew that things would come full circle and the time for me to challenge the champion for the PWC World Ladies Championship would come again. And whatever they stood by my side or they said despicable things behind my back, they knew that when the devil called. I would climb this star way to heaven and ride the train to glory. Yeah. But most importantly, I gotta thank Kimura-san 
Yeah. And her daughter, Anna. Yeah. Mariana and Kyoko. So, you see, we usually perceive that as the baddest and the darkest of outcomes, but even when it came to Anna leaving this world, she left this world in grace. She left this world in the purest way possible, leaving as a legacy to cherish and preserve for the future of this business. The last thing I mean to do is rain on Anna's parade or to disrage or to disregard her passing. But if Anna didn't pass, if Anna didn't stay with us tonight in heart and spirit, yeah. We are in a marina, marina. We would not be here paying tribute to her and honoring her short lived yet incredible legacy. Thank you, Anna, for everything you did for the business. And, and what a minute, Luna interrupts the speech and comes out, getting booed by the crowd for interrupting his speech in Anna's honor. Ooh, you can't put all of those words where the sun doesn't shine. For everybody knows, we will forget about her in three to four years. Ooh. Congratulations, Shafia. I'll see you at Jungle Fury. And now it is time for Starway to Heaven Fallout. Ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible start to this labyrinth to the jungle. And what an amazing star way to heaven we have just witnessed. The history making PWC European Championship Tournament Finals. The Shad Gasport and Anna Kimura star way to heaven. Royal Rumble matches. And speaking of Anna Kimura, here we stand. With the newest PWC signees, Julia and Suri. And with Anna's mother, Kyoko Kimura, the number one participant in the Royal Rumble match when it comes to women. Ladies first and foremost, let me be one of the first people to officially welcome you into PwC. We'll have a chance to chat a little more in detail with you over the course of the next mm -hmm. few weeks. But right now I'd like to get your reaction to the moment where Luna seemingly turn on the crowd by claiming that Anna's memory will be forgotten in a span of three to four years while setting up the match for duel before the throne. What is your take? You know, one of the reasons as to why we chose to sign with this company at first sight was not only how far it is willing to go creatively, it is not only how much of a young talent they have, wrestling's for sure in a good hands, with names like the new PwC European Champion, Austin Sane, Longan Hernandez, Yamazaki Chen or Bruce Bannister paving the way, but it was because we saw how much of an effort they were willing to put in honoring those who made this, all of this, a better business. And sure, Anna had a relatively short career. Five years ago from the moment she retired, her mother until her passing. But what Luna fails to understand is why she chose to interrupt a beautiful speech given by the number one contender is that Anna Kimura paved the way for her to be the champion. Without Anna, there wouldn't have been no Luna. And whatever she chooses to accept it or not, well, that's another story. Hannah did more for this business in five years than Luna will do in her entire career. And now here comes Yuri. Being champion means nothing. The legacy and the moments that live in the hearts of the fans is everything. What Luna did was despicable. If my daughter was alive, she would kick her ass. Marina Shafiru wana jaguru fu yuri. De kantan nishai o isuru koto wa dekimasa. 
Chikashi konoju gawatashi no musume. Nitsuitsit ite zubete no koto. Nitai suru o fuku no tu ishite. Kanojo garuna no shire oket kureru koto onegate masu. What Kyoko is saying is that everything that Luna said about Hannah was despicable and that she's rooting for Marina to win and become champion at Jungle Fury. Well, ladies, thank you so much for your time. Kyoko, have a safe flight back to Japan. And Julia, Suri, welcome to PwC. Arigato gozaimasu. You won't see us until September. But I promise you this, when we arrive, we're going to tear the roof of the...